News just in, massive shake-up in Ghana Police Service. The Director General of the Criminal Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service, Commissioner of Police COP Mamiya Tiwa Adodankwa, has been relieved of her position, transferred to head the Welfare Department. She was promoted to the rank of Commissioner of Police April last year. One of the major investigations over uh, was the case of the missing Takrade girls. Head of our security desk, Gifty Andapia, joins me in the studio with more. What mm -hmm. do we know so far, Gifty, well, what of we the do shake know, of? Yeah, what we do know, our sources, uh, we've been working our sources since we heard the news, and what they're telling us now is that... Uh, Madam Tiwa has been moved from the CID, head of CID, to now head uh, police welfare. Mm. We do have a list, and I'll go through that list as we go along. But uh, we've, we're told that there's been some massive changes. So um, uh, Mami Tiwa is now head of um, uh, welfare, yeah. uh, which means that Mr. Dampari then, Dr. Dampari moves from welfare to um, administration. We're told that the person who's taken over from um, Tiwa. Madam Tiwa is uh, DCOP, COP Kenya Boa, mm. uh, COP Kenya Boa, and we'll have some information that we'll share about him shortly. But let me just go through the details, uh, the list that we have here uh, in terms of the changes that we're seeing. Um, so uh, DSP, uh, Superintendent Matthias K. Yevuga, uh, who is in charge of crime at Techiman, uh, has been posted to... Uh, his position has been cancelled. DSP, Mr. Adokufi Sakodie, who is in charge of uh, crime at OEB district, has also had his position uh, changed. Um, let me just quickly go through. Now, this is information just coming in. So these are, we're mm. trying to put uh, pieces or piece it all together. Yep. And then eventually we'll tell you about Mamitiwa's, uh, who she is and who is taking over from, uh, from her. Mamitiwa. So, um, we have uh, DCOP Paul Kwame Aite, 2IC, um, Upper East Region, who is now regional commander of the OT region. DCOP Albert um, Nangba Denkabi, who is going to the Amri at the general headquarters. Mm. DCOP Ose Esibe Ahenkan, uh, who is the OT region director. Mm. DCOP Moses Asabanga Atibila. Uh, MRU going to the northern region. This will be Felix Fosu Ajiman, uh, regional commander going to the uh, of the western region. This will be Ernest Owusu, regional commander um, AHR. This will be Afo Bwache Yadom, regional commander. And, and the, the list goes on. And then we have uh, this will be Mr. Victor Edusapoku, administrator, police hospital going to uh, Western uh, Region, ACP, Mr. Andrews, Buedu, Ekuma, and Koko Division going to, uh, coming to the AHR. And so, um, Asha, I'm just... Who's taking over from Tiwa? So, the person that's taking over from Tiwa, as I indicated earlier, is um, uh, Ken Yeboa, COP Ken Yeboa. I do have some information I'll just quickly pull up. But let me quickly just take you through the background of... Uh, Mami Tiwa, what, okay. what we know about now her. now going to head the Welfare Department. Exactly. She has a Master of Business Administration from the University of Cape Coast in 2016. She's a, she's a professional diploma in Forensic Audit, Institute of Chartered Accountants. She's a qualified chartered accountant from the Institute of Chartered Accountants. Also, uh, another one in 2006. She's a, cert she's a certificate in public administration from the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration. Mm. She has a certificate in police management. She has a certificate from the Police Academy, a diploma in business administration, mm. a general certificate in education. And uh, the list for her goes on and on. She's moved from constable to sergeant, chief inspector, assistant superintendent of police, mm. uh, superintendent of police. And we do know that by 2019, she has moved all the, all the way from a constable in 1991 mm -hmm. to commissioner of police in 2019. Um, I'll quickly uh, pull up what I have on the person who's taken um, over from him. Uh, so we'd let you know. But, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of calls for yeah. uh, the resignation Especially of Mami um, Tiwa. With, uh, exactly. The investigation that uh, went into the Miss Hunter Crowdy girls. And, and, you, and the you fact rightfully... that we were not able to find the girls. So there's been a lot yes, of calls. Yes, I'm just trying to pull up that information about the new person, Tiwa. 
um, uh, Ken Yubwa, who will be taking over uh, from him so we can share with our uh, our viewers. But it looks like uh, Kenya Boa would have a lot of work to do because uh, the position he occupies throws a big challenge to him, especially uh, with the fact that um, a lot of people were disappointed with Mami Tiwe's leadership in the investigation towards finding the missing Takrade girls. Now that he's taking, uh, uh, wearing that shoe, that means a lot has to be done to actually redeem the image of the police uh, service, especially the investigative department where Mamitua was heading. So uh, I bet it's not, um, uh, it's not uh, maybe uh, an, an, easy, an easy seat it to occupy be. It now. Be. It be. I, 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 I think that uh, Ken um, Yeboah must have a lot of expertise in this field. When you get that information, mm. we'll be able to tell whether he's also gotten uh, some um, training or he has what it takes to actually head this position mm. because if you look at Mami Tua's background she actually has a what a diploma in forensics and all of that so and she's Kenya Bua coming uh, to take this position must uh, I believe must have a such mm. expertise to be able to take over from her or even more he should have more experience oh. than she COP has. COP Kenewa is actually one of the people that was tipped to be uh, I mean, IGP. When, exactly, when mm. that analysis uh, were made back then, when we knew that the IGP was going to have to be um, replaced, mm. COP Kenewa was one of the names that did come up, uh, even though he did not uh, get that position. Now, he at the time was the director general in charge of administration, mm. and that's the position that. Uh, um, um, uh, uh, that's a position that uh, Mr. Dampire is moving away from now. He's also the former Ashanti Region Police Commander. Okay. He was promoted to his current rank uh, in July 2017. Not the current, the new one, mm. but in 2017 he was promoted to the director, uh, to the COP rank okay. as director of uh, general in charge of administration. Mm. And he's expected to retire in 2023. So yeah. he has about... Um, three years ahead of him to do this position. Um, he has served, uh, he, serve, he, he's, he, he has said that while serving as DCOP and Northern Region Police Commander that he nearly lost his job after a photo of the Northern Regional Minister in a police vehicle went viral on Facebook and other social, uh, and other social uh, media networks. And so he looks like he's also been in the system. He has his own, his, he has his own um, experiences um, as well. Um, so let's look at the, yes, I do have that list here uh, of the change as far as the top hierarchy of police officers is um, concerned, is, is concerned. Mm. exactly. So I'm just going to start from George, COP Dr. George Ekufu Dampari. Okay. He's the Director General in Charge of Welfare. Mm. Now he's been made the Director General in Charge of Administration. And in his place, Tiwa is going to take his place now. T no, Tiwa's position uh, is, well, exactly, uh, Director yeah. General of Welfare. Of Welfare, yes. Exactly. So the next person is uh, Christian Tete Yono, who is also one of the people who came up for discussion mm. when the IGP so, position IGP was position vacant. Became vacant okay. Exactly. So uh, COP Christian Tete Yono is now, uh, who was the Director General of MTTD, mm. is now Director General for Special Duties. Okay. Um, COP Mrs. Beatrice, Beatrice Zakba Vib Sanziri, who yeah. is the widow of. Uh, Major Sanziri yeah. of blessed memory yes. is also her, her, her name also came, came up, up so this during is like, the IGP e exactly yeah. Th this is like the top hierarchy of yeah. the police officers yeah. and she is director general PPSB now she's going to director be director general of the MTTD okay now COP Isaac Kenyabua who we're just trying to look up at the moment is the director general of administration mm. now she he is going to be the director general of the CRD okay. so he takes up the position of Mami Tiwa yeah now COP Alex Amponsa Esiama is director general of services uh, now he is director general of ICT mm. uh, the COP Alphonse Edouard Mankwa the regional commander eastern region now he is director general pso the uh, cop george alex mensa director general operations now director general of services and then cop mrs mamiya tiwa ado 
down to Director General of CID, now to Director General of Welfare. Wow. And COP, um, I just have three more. Mm. COP Ebenezer Doku, Director General of Special Duties to uh, Service Workshops. Then we have COP Redeemer Vincent Dejo, who was the regional commander for the Western yes. Region, yes. which also... I remember he, he featured strongly exactly. when we were uh, dealing the, the with the missing, were missing the girls. Exactly. Yes. So he has also has had his position changed. He is now the Director General of PPSB at the headquarters. So he's coming That's all the way to car. the headquarters. DCOP, Mrs. Elizabeth Apollonia Dessa. Uh, at the headquarters, he's now she's now director, FEMPO secretariat at the headquarters. DCOP, Mr. Kwekubwedu, Pepra, regional commander, Ashanti uh, region, uh, also goes to the director, is now director general um, of operations. Now, this is just information coming, coming in. Coming so in, and there are pieces, to, right, so we'll we need to try put, to, put together. Put but them the most, together. the most, uh, I think that the most um, interesting Significant ones one among are, them. This COP, uh, COP Mamitiwa. Who has been moved and replaced it, by exactly. Isaac Kenyon. Exactly, and we know why. For, ob for, for very um, obvious, obvious reasons, reasons COP mm. uh, Kenyabwa will be taking over. Now, like you said, he has a tough job. Uh, yeah, it doesn't um, look like a juicy one at all. Well, um, he'll have to redeem the image of the CID. Exa exactly. But it will be good for him. He ha What he has working for him will be the fact that a lot of people have called for the head of COP, Mamitiwa. And so and, if she's going, it gives you a chance and you have the public goodwill as well yeah. because people thought that he, he she, should, she should go. And that's so why that, that also comes with higher expectations. Yeah. All the best uh, to um, Isaac Kenya, who is taking over for Tiwa. And Tiwa, all the best to the new position she's had. We'll try and put all the bits of information together for you in our bits in our subsequent bulletin. This is still Joy News Prime, still ahead in the bulletin. Frustration characterizes Ghana card registration in the Ashanti region. Chief Executive of the National Identification Authority, Professor Kenneth Tefa, admits to staff extortions but vows to crack the whip. There is more after this break.